This video is made possible by our loyal Patreon supporters. Visit patreon.com slash psychetruth. Hi friends, it's Myra. Welcome to my Stretch At Your Desk series. Today we're going to go over a few yoga poses that you can easily do seated in a chair at your desk. I have a lot more videos on the Yoga Plus app as well as Amazon Prime Video. I know it can be tough sometimes to find some time to get up and move and stretch, but moving really helps us be more productive. It helps us have more energy and focus throughout the day. Just sit nice and tall in your chair, get your back away from the back of the seat so you can start engaging your core muscles. And then sitting tall, bringing your shoulders gently down, making sure both of your feet are evenly planted on the ground. You can close your eyes if you feel comfortable. And then just check in with your breath, check in with your body, notice how you're feeling right now. Just pause and breathe and take notice. Centering yourself. As you inhale, you can sweep your arms up, stretch towards the ceiling, lift your gaze. And as you exhale, just drop your right hand to the side of the chair and then lean over to the right, stretch out the left side of the body and turn your heart open. Nice stretch. And then inhale back up to center. And with the exhale, drop your left hand, stretch out the right side. Again, turn your heart open, really reach through the fingertips. Inhale back to center, lift as high as you can. As you exhale, twist to the right. So you can bring your left hand to the right knee and your right hand can grab the seat behind you. If you have chairs or your arms on your chair, it can be a little awkward, but just grab whatever you can hold on to and gently look over your shoulder. And then inhale back up to center. With the exhale, twist to the left, right hand to the left knee, and the left arm grabs the chair. Look over your shoulder. Inhale back up, and let's do it again, starting back at the top. Drop your right hand, stretch out the left side, turn your heart open. Be aware of the rest of your body while you do this. Make sure your both feet are still touching the ground evenly, and as you exhale, you take your, your side stretch. As you inhale, you lift. Exhale to twist, inhale, lift, and then last time, exhale, twist, look over your shoulder, You're not forcing anything, and then inhale, lift, and then this time as you exhale, we're just going to come all the way down, all the way to a fold, bringing your chest to your thighs, and just take a few deep breaths here. You can gently turn your head side to side and nod at yes. And then as you're ready, slowly begin to rise one vertebrae at a time. Take your time, don't rush through it. Keep your chin tucked in until the very, very end and can lift your head so the blood doesn't rush to your head. And then extend your right arm out in front of you and with your left hand, grab the fingers and then draw the fingers towards the body. If you work a lot at a keyboard, this is really nice if you deal with some carpal tunnel or some achiness in the wrists and the hands. This is a great stretch for the wrists and the hands and also the forearms. Just a few cycles of breath. Again, you wanna make sure your shoulders are down, your face is relaxed, your neck is long. <clears throat> and then as you're ready, a little release and shake. And then again, this time palm out, fingers down. With the left hand, grab the fingers drawing towards the body. Keep the shoulders down, neck is long, face is relaxed. Deep breaths. And then gently shake and release. And let's do it on the other side. Left hand out, fingers facing up. Just a few deep breaths. You can always regulate how intensely you wanna feel this stretch. Make sure you're not tensing the rest of your body. And then as you're ready, shake and release. And this time, palm out, fingers down, shoulders down, neck is long, face is relaxed, both feet still touching the ground evenly. Deep breath in. And exhale, release. Now bring your right arm to your right thigh and with your left arm, use it like a rolling pin. So start at the inner crease of your elbow and then push down and just massage your arm like you're rolling out some dough with a rolling pin up and down all the way to the wrist and then back up to the inner crease of the elbow. You can even turn your arm over and do the other side, really get that blood flowing, massaging out the muscles. And then just give a little shake when you're done, take it over to the other side. 
The right arm now becomes the rolling pin and just roll it up and down the left arm. Make sure you're breathing and again, be aware of the rest of your body. And again, you can do the other side, turn your arm over and then just give it a little shake and release as you're ready. Shrug your shoulders up and then back and then down and forward just a couple times in this direction. Make sure you're following your breath. Whenever you go up, you inhale and go back. Whenever you exhale, you go down and forward. You can go a few cycles in the other direction. Moving nice and slow at your own pace. Get a little shake. So I'm just gonna turn to the side so you can see a little better. We're going to work a little bit on our lower body now and warm up the legs. So you wanna make sure your back comes away from the back of the chair. So again, you wanna engage your core muscles, pull your belly button in towards your spine, really activating that core. And then draw your shoulders down, your spine is nice and long, the top of your head is lifting towards the ceiling and your face remains soft. We're just going to extend the right leg out in front of us and you can use your hands to grab onto your seat if you need a little help, but re really make sure you're engaging your core muscles here. Keep your shoulders down, your neck long, and your face soft. Point and flex. Your toes roll out your ankles clockwise, counterclockwise. If you're able to, you can even kick your shoes off, probably make it a little easier. But once you roll out your ankles, point and flex your foot, lift it a little higher as you inhale and then exhale, tap your foot down. So again, you want to scoot your hips all the way to the edge of your seat almost. So you can really, again, activate core muscles. Inhale, lift, exhale, tap. Inhale, lift, exhale, tap. Inhale, lift, exhale, tap. Let's do one more. Inhale, lift, exhale, tap. And now we're going to lift, but we're going to use our hands to bring our ankle all the way to the left knee. And when you come here, you want to make sure you're flexing your foot. You're pushing out through the heel of your right foot and you're letting your hips settle for a little bit. Keep sitting tall and breathe. And if you want to get a little deeper into the stretch, you can inhale, lengthen. And as you exhale, begin to fold forward and just take a few cycles of breath. You're gonna really feel the intensity in your right hip and glute, maybe the hamstring. So make sure you're not clenching, breathe deeply, release with every exhale. And again, working with nature, working with gravity to help you go deeper, you're not gonna force it. And then as you're ready, slowly come back up. You can extend your leg back out, point and flex, roll out your ankle clockwise, counterclockwise, and then set your foot down. And then let's just do it on the other side. Again, ch set, check your posture, sit nice and tall, and then extend your left leg forward, point and flex. Roll out your ankle clockwise, counterclockwise, it is easier when you kick your shoes off and then lift a little higher exhale tap your foot down scoot your hips forward if you need to inhale lift exhale tap three more inhale lift exhale tap draw your belly in exhale tap keep your shoulders down and your face is soft and your neck is long. We're gonna lift last time. We're gonna bring the ankle to the right knee this time. Let the hips settle, sit tall. And then as you feel comfortable and ready, you don't have to go deeper, but if you would like to, you can slowly begin leading with the heart, melting your heart down towards your legs. And then stop whenever you need to. Don't force yourself once again to go deeper than you're ready to go. We don't want to have any injury especially if you've been sitting for a really, really long time, your body may not be warmed up. So be gentle, go easy on yourself. And as you're ready, slowly come back up. Again, extend your leg out, engage those core muscles, point and flex, roll out your ankle clockwise, counterclockwise, and then set your foot down. And that, my friends, is a quick little sequence you can do from your chair, at a desk, in your office. If you have some time, please make it for yourself. You will notice the difference in your work, your energy, your productivity, and your focus. And if you have some extra time, I encourage you to join me for the next video in this series where I show you some standing postures that you can easily do, again, from your desk, at a chair, or in a small office or small bedroom. Thank you so much once again. I'll see you next time. The love enlighten me bows to and honors the love enlighten you. Namaste. Many of our subscribers don't see our videos. Make sure that you click the notification bell.
And if you haven't already, follow us on social media for tips, tutorials, giveaways, and daily inspiration. I have a lot more videos on the Yoga Plus app as well as Amazon Prime Video. Please check me out there as well. Introducing Yoga Plus, offering a free series every month with over 300 different videos. Take control of your health. Work out anytime, anywhere. Yoga Plus, download now for free.